Hello again, racing fans. My name is Peter Galassi, track announcer here at Belmoral Park. Joining me tonight, the voice of Maywood Park, Joe Mazzoni. Joe, how are you tonight? Good, Peter. How are you? Excuse me a minute, okay? Excuse, you yes. guys are going to have to be quiet, all right? Tell them, huh, Joe? You got it. Good, Joe. How are you tonight? I'm fine, Peter. It's a beautiful it's a nice night, night for beautiful, racing. It was yes. a gorgeous day today. Great December day. Figures to be a great December night. Absolutely. Whatever 20 happens. races tonight with Balmoral's first race at 745, Maywood's first race is at 8. For those of you not familiar with dual simulcasting, this is the Balmoral side of the program. You want Maywood, just flip it over. You can bet either track in any open mutual window. Just be sure you tell the mutual clerk which track you're wagering on. And remember, all winning tickets may be cashed on the open mutual window. Joe, before we start talking about tonight, we're into December and there's just uh, oh, 28 days left in there, 29 days left in December. If by any chance any of you racing fans have tickets from 1992, all the 1992 tickets must be cashed by December 31st or they are no longer valid. This is a new law that the state of Illinois passed recently, so we're going to put a notice on the front cover. So it's 92 tickets. They're valid only till December 31st of this year. So if you have any tickets from 92 now, remember 92, they must be cashed by December 31st or they are no longer valid. So. Just, we're going to put a notice on the front cover, and uh, this way everyone's aware of that fact. Okay? I have no 1992 tickets. I don't I, even I have don't 93 either, tickets. You never know. I don't know. Maybe I have some in my wallet. I haven't looked in my wallet for many weeks. Joe, a big weekend of racing, dual simulcasting tonight, Thursday, 20 races. Tomorrow, Friday and Saturday, 22 races, both of those nights. And it uh, should be an exciting weekend of racing. You want to try and pick some winners? Sure. Let's do it. All righty. Tonight's first race here at Maywood Park, I like number five, TJ in action. This is a classy 10-year-old trotter. He's at home at this particular claiming level, and with the right trip, he should get home a winner. In the second race, I like three, Kentucky Cam. This horse benefits from a start, and he's very fast from the gates. I'm guessing he will have the lead, or at worst get the two-hole trip, Kentucky Cam. Looks pretty good in tonight's second race. In the third race, going for another uh, inside horse, this one, number one, Chancey Domino. She's racing well right now, and the stable's been on some roll here. Chancey Domino should race up close to the pace from here and have the striking position she lacked. In the fourth race, I picked number two, Bonnier's Bonfire. I was guessing Dave McGee would drive this horse, but I was wrong. He took number six, Watch Me Finale, so keep an eye on that horse. But two, Bonnier's Bonfire. She's been racing well. She's been well back. She wasn't far off. She was a beaten favorite. She may make amends in this situation. In the fifth race, pretty wide open race, I like three flaunting it in from Balmoral Park where she had uh, the outside post in her last two starts. Tough trip in her last two. Uh, she moves inside, should seek the lead from here, and an easier lead uh, might see her hold on this time. Excuse me, Peter. <coughs> Just had pepperoni pizza. In the sixth race, I like number six, Rosebrook Willie. Rosebrook Willie. Two big wins, one here at Maywood Park and last week right at your place at Balmoral Park has the speed to make the lead and should overcome the slight hiking class. In the seventh race, I like number three, Rally Round. She's better than her last would indicate. She may have not liked the soft footing in her last race here at Maywood Park. Over a fast track, this horse should be on or near the lead every step of the way for driver Dave McGee. Looking to the eighth race, this is a pretty wide open race too. Uh, number four, Surf Alert. That last race was a bit better. Uh, he's getting better. He has a touch of class. This is a wide open race. Anything can go here. Surf Alert with the right trip may win. In the ninth race, I like number four, Heisman Hanover. This is pretty solid here. Heisman Hanover has been battling some of the best on the grounds. Vance Lobel last week, unbelievable. Wire to wire in 154 and 4. Has no Vance Lobel to beat tonight. Should pick up the win. Finally, in the tenth race, three, Swayze Warrior. He's a beaten favorite in his last two starts. Drops back into Maidens and from the inside should be on or near the lead every step of the way for trainer driver Homer Hochsteiler. That's it. Joe, and I races. like two horses by you. The first race, I like, or, yes, the first race, I like number three, Shailene. A game old timer. She was, she flew in the stretch here last time to win. And I think another well-timed move might see Shailene start your early double. And in your ninth race, I'm going to go with Raven Ruler, number two. From the inside, he can show speed, and I look for him to race close up. Hopefully use the open stretch to his advantage and maybe pull off a minor upset. Number two, Raven Ruler, in your ninth race. Joe, turning to Balmoral's side of the card in the first race, I went with number six, Old Fashioned Way. I give her the slight edge over number four, Lydia Yorktown. I think those two will battle it down to the wire with Old Fashioned Way getting up in the final strides. 
In the second race, number seven, Awesome Sarah is scratched. I went with number six, Yes We Know. She made a big move into the lead last time and then uh, drew, drew off to win very impressively. And I think she's good enough to win again. In the third race, we have a driver change on seven, Astro Maker, make the driver Wayne Moore. I'm going a long shot here, number eight, Debbie's performance. She went off at, or he went off at 19 to one last time, eight to one currently in the morning line. He will be closing fast in the stretch, and if he stays flat, maybe he can upset this group at a great price. Fourth race, driver change on number eight, closing stretch, make the driver Mike Pryor. I went with number five, noteworthy dude. A very difficult first over trip in his last, and then broke in the lane. Beaten favorite in his last two, let's give him one more chance. In the fifth race, I'll go with number four on the go. Left last time and saved ground throughout and had some pace at the end of the mile, and I'll give on the go the edge in the fifth race. Sixth race, number one, Patio Bell, a very, very tough trip in his last pull and then went three wide on the back stretch, and, or three wide around the club turn, then to the back stretch and had a very difficult first over trip thereafter. From the inside, Patio Bell should be on the lead from the word go and make every call a winning one. Seventh race, I'll go with number three, Corky's Anxiety. Easy winner, two starts back, and he does face, he does drop in class tonight, and I think Corky's Anxiety may prove best in the seventh. In the eighth race, Gary Mills will drive number eight LPG. My personal choice, number six, Dancer's Ideal. He lacked room in his last, and I think he's ready to win with a clear trip to the wire. Ninth race, scratch number six, Doc Mike. Scratch six, Doc Mike, and there will be a driver change on number seven, Barn Owl. And my personal choice is number nine, Casino Special. This horse just made an absolute incredible move going up the back stretch. Ninth at the half, first at the three quarters, so you can imagine what an incredible move that was. And I think despite the outside post, I think he's still the best tonight. And in the tenth and final race, I'll go with number four, the Balkan, what I term as a two-horse race between the Balkan Chantytown Raider. I figured that would be a good perfecta box here. Uh, the Balk just is in great form and uh, gunning for his third in a row, and I think he'll get it. So, Joe, those are my picks tonight. And incidentally, while we're, while we're on the 10th race, I call your attention, racing fans. Adjacent to tonight's 10th race, we've put in our 1994 racing schedule. So you want to take a look at how, when and when we're racing and what post times, 1994. It's on page 23 of tonight's program. Joe, I, like, I know you like some horses here. Yeah, I got a couple I like, Peter. In uh, the fourth race, I do like number eight closing stretch. Uh, one pretty nicely in his last at Balmoral Park. Uh, Mike Pryor, as you said, uh, picking up the catch drive here. Closing stretch, I like to win another. And in the eighth race, I like number one, Joby Dancer. Stayed flat, and that was a big plus. Uh, hasn't been minding his manners lately. And uh, at this cheaper claiming level and from the inside, he should show speed again and maybe prove victorious this time. All right, Joe. Uh, well, racing fans, if you happen to miss any of our selections, you can follow Joe's selections adjacent to each Maywood race. My selections are adjacent to Balmoral race. Remember, you can bet any race at any time in any open mutual window. Just be sure you tell the mutual clerk which track you're wagering on. Also, all winning tickets may be cashed in the open mutual window. Joe, any closing comments? Yes, uh, Peter. Uh, by the way, uh, tomorrow night is a big night here at Maywood Park. The Blaze Radio will be here. We have a great giveaway here, a Honda scooter provided by Downers Grove Honda. That'll be the main attraction. Other, plenty of other prizes to be given away. The Blaze Girls will be here. The second annual Blaze Girl Derby. You won't want to miss that. That's all tomorrow night. And coming up later in the month, December 18th, Fan Appreciation Night, uh, we're giving away a car, uh, free wallets, similar promotion to you guys, uh, with stuffed uh, vouchers and there, other prizes you can win with the wallets. And it's dollar night also, a dollar popcorn, dollar beer, dollar hot dog, dollar anything you can get your hands on. So uh, make plans to be here uh, all month long. Right, and same thing with Balmoral. Our fan appreciation is on uh, December 11th. A similar promotion, uh, page 9 is all the information. By the way, Joe, are we going to be able to bet on that race with the Blaze Girls? Uh, yes, you are. Uh, I think so. We Last year we did bet on it. All just, the to, just don't tell anybody. All the proceeds went to uh, a charity. It was pretty cool. You can go up to the girl. You make your wager, you give her as much money as you want. I think it was up to $5. And uh, the monies did go to a charitable organization. And when you did sign up, the girl would give you a, a little photograph of all the girls with a little autograph on there. So it's pretty cool. So you might want to come out and see that. Well, I think I'm going to be a little busy tomorrow night. Well, I didn't mean you. I mean the people sure, out there. I'm sure Mark uh, will televise the race. And oh, everyone yeah, at the off-track and in her track facilities will be able to watch it. So, racing fans, a big weekend of racing. Make plans to be here as often as possible. And, Joe, you have a good evening. We'll see you tomorrow night. You too, Peter.